Good to see you. When we're at school, we really like to bring out Play-Doh for kids to play with. And I make it at home and then I bring it to school for the kids. And so since we can't be at school right now, I thought I would show you what it's like for me at home making the Play-Doh. And maybe you could make it at home with your parent too. That might be a lot of fun. So here is um, all the stuff that I need to make Play-Doh. To make Play-Doh, you use flour. So there's a bag of flour here and you use salt, baby oil, food coloring. So there's different colors in here. There's blue, pink, green, and purple. And I have to choose what color I'm gonna use. What color do you think I'm gonna pick? Well, we'll find out. There's a couple other things we use in Play-Doh. We use water and it's gotta be hot water. So I'm gonna microwave my water. And then we also use something called alum. And that goes in there too. So I have my Play-Doh recipe that I'm gonna follow. This is the directions that tells me how much flour and how much water of everything that goes into my bowl. And I've got a big spoon here to stir it with. And this is my measuring cup and my measuring spoons. So let's get started. Alum is found at the grocery store on the spice aisle. It is an ingredient in baking powder. Alum is also used for pickling. My microwave boils water in three minutes. That'll give me time to pet my cat. Hi, Jakes. I'm going to pick my favorite color, which is blue. Look at that. That looks neat. What's your favorite color? This blue isn't really bright enough. I think I'll add a little bit more color. It takes a lot of stirring. Sometimes my arm gets tired. Okay, the last thing to add is the oil.
You should store the Play-Doh in a gallon Ziploc bag or in a Tupperware. Okay, we're all done. Pippa and I say goodbye. Bye guys, hope you had fun, and I hope you make some Play-Doh. Want a treat? <laughs>